Shout out to Arthur Wowell, man, with the Buy Me a Coffee donation request. So we got Neil Young with Crazy with Neil Young and Crazy Horse with Hey Hey My My into the Black Live 1991. Okay, so we got working with about what 33 years here. So um, let's check this out. Let's see what's going on. And I also have a Discord. Um, you guys can go check that out in the description box. I hope this doesn't get blocked. Like she just got finished knitting. <laughs> say this is the most intense uh emotion i've seen neil do um in the few reactions i've done to him he's always been kind of cool and laid back but this is the most energetic i've seen him in his performances man i just hope youtube don't block this one man this is a good performance right now. I, I like that part. Bam, bam, bam. It's so memorable to my ears. Once you But like uh Jack Black. You can't come back. You're out of the blue and you know the black. Good time up there. <laughs> the king is gone, but it's not forgotten. This is the story of the Charlie Rotten. Dude, this is crazy because I'm looking at the people in the crowd. And so it made me kind of go back and look up on Wikipedia when this song came out. And it was it bookends Young's 1979 album Rust Never Sleeps, and said the song was influenced by the punk rock zeitgeist of the late 1970s. It does kind of sound punk rockerish too, um, in particular to by Young's collabor collaborations with the American art punk band Devo, and what he viewed as his own growing irrelevance. Wow, but what is the zeitgeist? Hmm. Okay. But, um, and it made me think like how this is 1991 is the album came out in 79. So you're talking about 12 years. Most of the people in this crowd were kids and just growing adults. So it's kind of like 
the uh his most daunting fans or his most uh loyal fans are out here seeing him rocking on with this song in 1991. It's such a beautiful thing to go back and look in time like and see where people were, you know, and what was happening right then. Like when in 1991 I was listening to hip hop and dancing to MC Hammer. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't I was only 8 years old. I was only 8 years old in 91. So, yeah. It's it's a, it's it's just so interesting, man. It's so interesting. The king is gone, but it's not forgotten. Is this the story of the child we rotten? Look how many people resonate with that song, with those lyrics. That's a powerful lyric, man. He says, better to burn out than to fade away. That's crazy. And when you think about what burning out means, it's like work until you're tired. That's what we define as burnout is creators. Like you working, you overworking yourself, but it's better to do that than to fade out. And it's almost like when you fade out, you're almost forgotten, you know, like you lose steam. You know, it, it's, it's it's definitely symbolism attached to it. It's better to burn out than to fade away. The king is gone, but it's not forgotten. That was dope. That was really dope. That was really dope. Uh, seeing Neil rock out like that, uh, seeing him just, oh man, just really put it all out there. You know what I'm saying? You can definitely feel that, even with just reacting to it, man. And I think, I, you know, I gotta thank him for even pulling me in that much, that well, you know. And uh, but I like the message of the song. I like. Um, his performance was phenomenal, though. I think that was a that was a statement, you know what I mean? Because when I looked on Wikipedia, it was talking about 
uh, he was viewed as his own growing irrelevance. So this was almost like him knowing that the end of his relevance like is coming. So he made a song to kind of, I guess, be transparent about his irrelevance. Like it, it's it's such a weird dichotomy. He said the song "Hey Hey My My," as well as the the titular phrase of the album on it, was featured. Russ never sleeps. Spring from Young's collaborations with Devo, and in particular the band's frontman Mark Mothersbaugh. Say in 1977, Devo had been asked by Young to participate in the creation of his film *Human Highway*, and the scene in the film shows Young playing the song in its entirety with the band. And let me see. He said the line "It's better to burn out than to fade away" was included in Nirvana's frontman Kurt Cobain's suicide note in '94. Said after Cobain's death, Young vowed never to perform the song again, but revert his stance at the request of the surviving members of Nirvana. Whoa. That's crazy. Dude. That's haunting. Oh, man. Shout out. <laughs> Shout out to Arthur with this Buy Me Coffee donation request. Just wow. Wow, man. Uh, if you guys want to see more Neil Young, um, Kurt Cobain. I think we did a couple of those. I think I have done a Kurt Cobain reaction. But if you guys want Kurt Cobain on the channel, let me know what y'all want to see. Um, at the same time, I catch you guys at another one. Peace.